Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So I released the tape, uh, I think two videos on the tape with Steny Hoyer. Number two Democrat in the House of Representatives essentially tried to push out one of the lefties who was in the race in Colorado, Levi Tillerman. Now, Levi Tillerman went back to his home district in order to run in the race. And he assumed that in running in the race, he would have, at the very least, the party would be impartial in the process. And he found that the party was not impartial in the process, that he seemed to be getting the short end of the stick. Come to find out it was worse than what he thought. The party itself had put its full support behind one of the other candidates, one of the corporatist candidates that was in the race. Tillerman was pissed off by this, of course. You're supposed to be the Democratic Party, and you're being completely undemocratic. You're rigging the process for somebody else. And just so you can hear the tape, let's hear the tape again, or just hear a portion of the tape, so you know what I'm talking about in case you didn't see my other video. You would like me to get out of the race. You say I don't like you to get out. And of course, that's, that's correct. Yeah. And I know you're fundraising for Crow. Yeah. You know? I'm for Crow. I'm for Crow because the judge has been very poor enough. And it's the state of decision. So your position is a decision was made, you know, very early on before voters had a say. That's fine because that's the DCCC knows better than the voters of the 6th Congressional District, and we should line up behind that candidate. That's certainly the consequence of our decision. He articulated it perfectly. His articulation of this was perfect. The DCCC knows better than the people of Colorado that it's not you being impartial in the process. You have a workable point of view, be it the Democratic National Committee or the DCCC, whoever. You have a workable point of view on the way that you want or the people who you want in your political process. Regardless of all of the, all of the protestations, oh, how dare you say we're not being impartial. You're not being impartial. You are putting your thumb on a scale in one state after the next. All across the United States, the DCCC and the DNC is putting their thumb on the scale of the candidates who they want in the process. Now, Hoyer here is being very frank and being open with this candidate saying, yes, we want you out of the race. And we don't want you to attack our particular candidate because I'm for Crow. We're backing Crow. That's the person we want. That's the person we put our money behind. Further on in this conversation, it goes so far as to say, look, we need to get in hard and fast. And this is the pragmatic choice on what we want to do. Meaning. We're putting our money behind the person who we think has a better chance of winning. This is the organization that presided over a thousand seats lost all throughout the United States. And it still believes it knows best. And just so happens, the people who they believe they know best tend out to be corporatists. They don't tend to be the populists or the lefties. They turn out to be the corporatist candidates. Nancy Pelosi is confronted by this and they ask her, hey, do you have any issue with Steny Hoyer essentially being honest, saying they're trying to kick lefties out of the race all throughout the United States? Look at what Nancy Pelosi's response to this is. I find this response amazing. House Minority Leaders and Nancy Pelosi on Thursday defended Representative Steny Hoyer following revelations that the minority whip pressed a Colorado liberal to drop out of the race in a highly contested Denver suburb. Pelosi said such pressure campaigns are simply a pragmatic way to narrow the primary field for the sake of increasing the party's chances of picking up Republican held seats in November election. It's called undemocratic. It's undemocratic. It's fundamentally undemocratic. You are literally putting your thumb on the scale for the people get the chance to decide. It's one thing if the people of that state say this is who we want and the DCCC or the Democratic Party or whatever comes behind us is okay. This is what the public wants in this district, and this is what we're going to back. That's not what you're doing. That's not what you're doing. You're doing the opposite of that. This is the guy who we want. This is all our backing behind this guy. We don't care what the primary process is. This is the way we're going with it. How has that worked, Nancy? How has that worked? You've lost a 1,000 seats all throughout the United States. You've presided over a record of failure. That's what you've presided over. And now... Despite all of the failures, despite all of the failings, despite the shitty legislation Republicans have put in, despite losing to reality shows, despite all of this failure, cacophony of failure, despite all of this failure, you still believe that you know best. Still believe you know best. One more shot at the bat. 
I won't fuck it up this time like I did the previous thousand times. You don't know best. The people of that particular area make a choice on who they want to run that office or run for that seat. That should be the way it goes. Not the Democratic Party has a point of view that they want to espouse upon the world. We want the world to look like... No, no, no. You failed. You failed. You've lost. You've lost. Completely lost. Unequivocally lost. How do you lose a thousand seats and still say, I want one more fuck up at the bat. I want that one more fuck up at the bat. This person went back to their district because they wanted to run in the contest. The guy was an author and inventor. He even worked in the Obama administration. And you guys chose a corporatist hack that was working on their behalf, meaning the, the organization of the company that he worked for, protecting bankers and payday lenders. This is in other cases where the Democrats were supporting people who are anti-abortion. This is sad. This is fundamentally sad. And for Nancy Pelosi, the person, the minority leader, to come out and say, what Stanley Hoyer did was fine. In fact, she goes further. I'm okay with the undemocratic process. Her issue with this, in terms of candidate campaigns, I don't see anything inappropriate to what Mr. Hoyer was engaged in the conversation about. The realities of life in a race as to who can win the general election, Pelosi said during a, um, during a press briefing in Capitol Hill. Pelosi said she was more deeply troubled that Tillerman had privately taped his conversation with Hoyer when the pair met in Denver last year and released it to the press. I don't know if a person can tape a person without permission's consent, without that person's consent, and then release it to the press, Pelosi said. That's what I'm more concerned about. I'm not concerned about the undemocratic process. I'm not concerned that people are not being represented, because they can't be represented if you're rigging the process. And let's be clear, that's what this is. That is the Democratic Party making the choice on who they want in that election. I understand all of these lefties are talking about, we're boarding the ship. We're boarding the ship. We're going to take over the ship. We're going to reinstall the Democratic Party. I understand that a lot of you have this, this position, this disposition that you're going to take on. They're cheating you before you even get out the gate. Before you even get on the ship, they're pulling up the planks. While screaming impartiality at the top of their lungs in the same way they did with Sanders. They are rigging these processes for these against these progressive candidates in one place after the next. And it just so happens that it always ends up being the corporatist candidate who they choose. They are espousing a workable point of view on the world. That workable point of view that they are espousing on the world has nothing to do with lefties, has nothing to do with populists, has nothing to do with progressives. They want your votes, but they don't want you in their seats. In fact, they don't even want you going against them. They want you bitching at them or anything else. What I would advise is lefties, people who are running in these elections, people who hear Nancy Pelosi saying, it is just pragmatic to be undemocratic. Just to pragmatic. We don't need a representative government. That's a pain in the ass. We need to be able to win. And in order to win, we need to be as undemocratic as we can possibly be. So within the rules of the system to which we find ourselves, we are going to use this extra money to hit and end progressives, to get them out the race. So we can have a quote unquote united front. What I would advise to progressives is that you are not a Democrat. Stop looking at yourself as a Democrat. You are something fundamentally different. And until you realize you're fundamentally different and step outside of that context, nothing changes. For as long as you're complicit with them cheating you in this way, nothing changes. If you get cheated and you turn around and still vote Democrat, nothing changes. They are rigging this process all throughout the United States. Just like they did with Sanders, they are rigging this process. I'm saying to you, if you're a lefty and you're running in one of these elections, run against the party itself. Run against the party in the general election, meaning run your own campaign. Allow the people to actually get a choice. You may lose, but at the very least, it shows that you have teeth and you're willing to go at the party itself. One of the things that he was concerned about was, we don't want you attacking our candidates. Attack their candidates. Call them a corporatist. Call them a banker. Say that both of them are taking money because that's exactly what's taking place. Both of them are taking money and doing favors. Go after both. Get Tim Canova felt that he needed to get out the race, and he started running as an independent. Sam Ronan, again, somebody else realizing he wasn't getting a fair shot and decided to run as a fucking Republican. That's where we are. All of these lefties who are talking about boarding the ship, I think you need to reevaluate your position. Ultimately, you're running against the Democratic Party 
and the Republican challenger because they're not going to give you a fair shot. They're not giving you a fair shot now and whining and crying about it. I have to hear Zog be whining. I have to hear Jenk Uger crying about it over and over again about how they're not getting a fair shot. I had Nomi Knotts talking about how they're not getting All of these people cry about not getting a fair shot. Do something else. If you feel that you were cheated in the primary process, when that process is up, you're in a general election, run, still run, run anyway. You may not win, but at the very least, you show you have teeth and you're not necessarily stuck under the umbrella of the Democratic Party. I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to keep this one long. Nancy Pelosi defending Stinny Warrior trying to get one of the lefties out of the race. That guy was running on clean energy. Um, what is it? Clean energy... Medicare for all and extending college or extending education for community colleges. He was a lefty. He was a lefty. Story had told him, yes, I want you out of the race. And when he explained to him, this is grossly undemocratic. You're rigging the process. Hoyer disagreed with the rigging of the process. He didn't consider this rigging. But everything else, yes, absolutely, I agree with. I'm putting the tape at the bottom. You can listen to it for yourself. It is shameful that Nancy Pelosi thinks this is okay. And this gets across my point that you're not going to get the changes in a party that you're looking for when that party has a point of view that it wants to push all throughout the United States. They presided over a record of failure. Anybody else that lost 1,100 seats will leave. Nancy Pelosi is still there, waiting for her opportunity to get a hold of the gavel again. And again, being perfectly okay with them rigging the process throughout the United States, attacking lefties before voters even get a chance of making their choice on who they want to run in their districts. The Democratic Party knows better than you. That's what they're saying. And that's what she's defending. Keep voting Democrat. If you like the way things are going, voting Democrat will allow status quo to essentially persist the way it is. You don't have forever. You have climate disasters. You have plagues from the standpoint of humanity. You have wars that are going on, raging in the Middle East that have the potential to lead to World War III. You do not have forever. Status quo is not working for you. Status quo is what got you into the situation. It's time for a change. Nancy Pelosi needs to leave. She needs to be fired. She needs to be taken out of her seat. Or she needs to be not be the minority lead. They need to lose. Something needs to change. And doing the same thing that you've always done is not in any way going to get you changed. That is the definition of insanity. Until you stop being, until you stop being complicit, and just automatically voting for the Democrat because you're terrified of the Republican, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Obama said, "If you don't like it, get into the race." Donald Brazil said the same thing. Hey, stop dogging on us and get into the politics. Well. People took you up on that, Donna. People took you up on that, Obama. And look at what your party is doing. Your party is cheating and shafting progressives all throughout the United States before people even get a choice on determining who they want in their particular districts. This is shameful. And it's even more so shameful that the, that the former leader of the House is backing this particular policy and this behavior. You've presided over a record of failure, and yet you still want one shot at the ball. That's amazing. The problem here, Nancy, is not that people videotaped it or recorded it. The problem is that he said it. The problem is that he said it. The problem is that that's what your party is doing. It's not the recording. I'll leave it at that. All right, guys. If you enjoy the content, please feel free to share, like, subscribe. And, of course, you can always support through Patreon. Thanks, everyone.